five minutes of group prayer then. And then uh, we started late, but we'll finish on time. <laughs> and uh, Adam can sum up after a few minutes. Thank you. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the spiritual territory and biblical territory that Dave has walked us through this morning. Mm. We thank you for these very relevant subjects and those other relevant ones that we haven't studied. And we pray that we, and looking around the room, in one sense, temporarily at least, we are mature Christians. And yet in another way, we've all found, found something fresh which is going mm. to enable us to live more effectively in our relationship with you. Mm. So we thank you for what Dave has shared this morning. We pray that you will continue to bless him and young me, that you will guide mm. them in their lives and mm. ministry, that you'll provide for their needs, Amen. and that you, Lord, will encourage them, just as this morning has encouraged us. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Father, we pray that you help us not to take you for granted, Lord, mm. and Lord, that, that everything we've covered this morning and the relationship with, we have with you is not just words, Lord, but it's, that it's true meaning to us, and it's like the air that we breathe, Lord. <coughs> Lord, uh, we pray for that lady that Mary met, Lord, we pray that she, even as we, as we pray here just now together, she will realise the sense of need she has, Lord. Mm. We pray this in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Dear Heavenly Father, I'd like to, to thank David for mm. the inspiration he's given us all this morning mm. to make us more aware and alert of the darkness and the light and to work with you through all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Lord, we just thank you again so much for this morning, for calling us to remember things that we read in the Bible, maybe many years before ago or very recent, that as we've seen them again, we thought, well, thank you, Lord, you've spoken to me again about that, and I needed to hear that. But forgive us, Father, for those times when we are so earthbound, that we forget about the fact that we're only passing through this world, mm. and that we have a marvellous and magnificent future. So forgive us, Father, for those things that tempt us and draw us aside from this most beautiful relationship and fellowship we can have with you. If we really think about them, Lord, what are they? They're nothing, nothing at all, compared with this wonderful, wonderful fellowship we can have with you. <clears throat> Help us, Lord, in our prayer life. Help us, Lord, to get closer and closer to you in our prayer life. Sometimes, Lord, we have to say, oh, I suppose I've got to do my prayer me my prayer time now, but Lord, forgive us for that. Help us, Lord, to want to pray. And, and help us, Lord, when we come to pray, to be thankful first before we make our requests known to you. And Lord, we just pray that even now we might just think about your greatness, your magnificence, your glory, your splendor. And to really say we enjoy being holy. That we don't look on holiness as something that is far beyond us or something that we dislike. Rather, Lord, help us to like it, to know that holiness is beautiful because you are thrice holy. And Lord, you're making us like you. It's going to take a lifetime experience, Lord. But we thank and praise you, Father, for that work you've begun in us, you're continuing in us. Help us, Lord, to respond. Help us, Lord, to support Adam and all the other leaders in the church here. How we thank you, Lord, for each and every one of them. We know that Adam must appreciate having them, Lord. But, Lord, you, you place us in a church where we have so many, with so many varied gifts. 
that can support Adam in all the work that he's doing. We pray, Lord, that all these gifts will be made known so that this church can really be a strong body for you. And we just thank and praise you, Father, that you are the one who is head of this church. We pray that week by week, in all the meetings, that Christ be glorified. Lord, this is the longing, the thirsting, the desire in all our hearts, whether we're glorifying you in our lives day by day, whether we come to worship you, Lord, we pray that Christ will be the centre of the worship here. We pray, Heavenly Father, that everything that's done here will be with that in mind to glorify Jesus Christ. And thank you again for David. Thank you for the gifts that you've given to him. Yeah. Thank you, Lord, that this morning has been so clear uh, to us and he's led us clear to the scriptures and he's done a lot of work in getting it all together. We thank you, Lord, for the picture work as well. We thank you, Father. It's been a blessing to be here. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord, for the life and service of dear Castana. She had blessed assurance all her life, dear Lord, that she would see you face to face one day. And she's kept faith for all those years, dear Lord. She brought a blessing to many people in this church. She was always so strong with, with Tom, her late husband. They worked so well together. The Tanner family are well known in this area, dear Lord. And now you have another one up there with you, dear Lord. I just thank you for the life of dear Cass. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> and Father, I'd like to thank you for the reminder of sin and its consequences, mm. especially that it separates us from you. And we thank you, of course, for Jesus Christ who can take our sin and bring us back to uh, fellowship with you. We thank you for the defences we can put up, reminded of the armour that we are provided with and all too often fail to put on. And of course, more than anything else, we thank you for that assurance that we are yours through what your perfect son, Jesus Christ, did on the cross. So thank you for this time together and those timely reminders of all that we owe to you and your sacrifice for our sake. In Christ's name we ask it. Lord, I'd like to thank you for Dave and all that he's done. And you know, Lord, I was a bit reluctant in coming, and uh, that's truth. But uh, I've enjoyed it, and I thank you for him. Mm -hmm. And I thank you for your word, which again and again you remind us, tell us, us to remember. And Father, all through the Bible, I remind you. Thank you for your grace in that remembrance that we have to remember <coughs> and to work closer with you, Father. Thank you for the joy. Thank you for a sense of humour. Mm. Thank you for uh, all the things that have been shown today and for people's input. And Lord, we are mindful. I was listening to Tony and I think of those guys on the front line, Lord, mm. at the moment. Mm. Well, we're sitting here discussing things mm. and they're representing our country and they're almost forgotten in places like Afghanistan. And I just pray, oh Lord, for them, for the chaplain for their darkness, for some of those that give their life. Lord, I just pray for them this day. And uh, thank you again for your reminders to us of your great love and the blood you shed for us, Father. Yeah. Jesus. Amen. 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 Lord, we thank you for the reminder that uh, we have to put on the armour and... Uh, we have to do it in your strength, Lord, and not in our own strength. And uh, most of us here have been your servants for many years, Lord, and uh, we still don't find it any easier to resist the devil and resist the temptation than probably we did when we first came to know you as our saviour. But Lord, we just thank you that we have a saviour who loves us and mm -hmm. wants us to be mm -hmm. on his side, Lord. We, he wants us to resist the devil and all his uh, fiery darts and the way that he tries to get at us in so many different ways, Lord. Mm -hmm. We pray you'll protect us and that we will honour you in the way that we 
put our armour on and stand firm, Lord, against uh, the devil and all his uh, adversaries. We pray you'll just guide us and help us to love you and to do the things in your strength, we pray, Lord, and not look to our own ends and devices of ways of doing things that we may trust you to help us through the things that we find difficult, we pray, Lord. So guide us each one now and help us with our uh, different things that uh, we have in our lives and we pray you'll just undertake, Lord, in a marvellous way and we can uh, really uh, be determined to let you uh, guide us and uh, help us day by day, we pray. And we ask it in your precious name. Amen. God, as your word reminds us, humble yourselves therefore under God's mighty hand, mm -hmm. that he may lift you up in due time. Mm -hmm. Cast all your anxiety on him, mm -hmm. because he cares for you. Mm -hmm. Be self-controlled and alert. Your enemy, the devil, prowls round like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Mm -hmm. Resist him. Stand firm in the faith, because you know that your brothers are going throughout the world and undergoing the same kinds of suffering. And the God of all grace, who called you to his eternal glory in Christ, after you have suffered a little while, will himself restore you and make you strong, firm and steadfast. To him be the power forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Amen.